hey guys welcome back to my channel i know we have a lot of new subscribers thank you so much to everyone who has joined the family thank you so much for subscribing if you are new here and this is the first time you're coming across this video my name is tess and in this channel i share mostly about my experiences living and studying abroad but basically most of it is based italy based content that is because i was living and studying there and so i share all about what you need to know as an international student moving to italy so yeah if you like it and this is the kind of content you're interested in be sure to subscribe also turn on your notification bell so that you're notified anytime that i post and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for always stopping by to watch my videos so in today's video i'm gonna be talking to you guys about big universities versus small universities and why personally i'm a fan of smaller universities so stay tuned and yeah let's get right into the video Whew. okay guys i have actually written some stuff down just for me not to forget anything but yeah i wanted to give you guys basically um like a clue between bigger universities versus smaller universities in italy and that is because i have actually experienced both so if if you've been a subscriber for some time or have been watching me for some time you know that i did transfer universities and so i moved from a bigger university to a smaller university and so in today's video i'm gonna be telling you guys some of the cons of being in bigger university versus a smaller university and you can weigh um like options when you are trying to apply to italian universities uh yeah so that you can have basic idea of where exactly you should go so yeah so first of all um every place does has its pros and cons but today i'm gonna be covering mostly on the cons of um the bigger cities so i'll probably do a second part of basically comparing smaller versus bigger cities as well so watch out for a part two but yeah in today's video let's just do um the cons of bigger universities and so one of it is basically that uh it is too competitive so um being in bigger university because of the big names and how big the capacity of the university is it does handle uh like so many students so you find that with these the competition is obviously very high because there is a big number of students when it comes to everything everything is so competitive so when it comes to like things like applying for part-time jobs in the universities because most of the time universities do offer part-time jobs so you find that it's too competitive to basically even get a position or as a part-time uh, working as a part-time student another thing also you find that when it comes to things like erasmus as well there's just like a limited number of positions that are there for students obviously they will have to probably like pick the best students so that makes it really really competitive when it comes to like everything in the university well as compared to a smaller university they are like um fewer students and so the competition is less and there are also like more opportunities or more options or uh, like quite a number of uh, options like for example i was um in the former i was in a bigger university which is a polytechnic very famous and best ranking uh university in italy um i was there and you could barely like get part-time job that is because it's too competitive erasmus they obviously pick the best students but then when i moved to this smaller university i was able to actually get both positions i was able to get a part-time job with the university as well as um get an erasmus position so that is one thing that it's too competitive in bigger universities 
then another thing is that most of the time since you find these bigger universities in bigger cities that means that obviously the cost of living there is too expensive so if you're in bigger city obviously the cost of living will be higher as compared to a smaller city that's another thing then you find that another reason is that you find that the courses in bigger universities are extremely harder than they should be. You guys, you know that I left the other university mostly because I just couldn't cope. I couldn't pass my exams. And that was because the curriculum was like extremely difficult, um, especially when you're coming from... Um, another country that is non-european and you're not used to the educational system you find that it is too difficult as compared to like um what you are used to so it would take some time for you to adapt and the professors don't have time to be explaining to like all the students so you find that the exams or the courses are extremely difficult than they really should be so that's another thing i found in bigger universities as compared to smaller universities then another reason reason number four is also that um in the classes the professors barely have time for students that is because you find that in a class or in a lecture they are like 200 students and so professors don't have time for like all the students um so they'll be rushing through the courses they barely have time to like um really explain into details what the curriculum is all about or what the course is all about so you find that you are left behind with so many things especially when um they don't really have like time to explain the basic stuff they expect you as a student to like know the basic things so you find that you'll be going to a lecture and you're basically lost in the class and you find that you can even finish a semester with a lecture or a course and you've barely understood anything that is because the professors are just like um rushing through the syllabus because they want to finish in time uh, or the time they are given to finish the syllabus and so it's like you have to do most of the reading yourself so professors also barely have time like for students because they are also like busy busy professors they probably have so many other lectures um they are covering because they are like in a big uh university so they are like handling so many lectures with other classes as well. So that's another thing. And then also um, reason number five is that courses or exams are also really hard to pass in most of these big universities. You can find that I've seen people who will take six years to finish a bachelor course of three years. You guys, that is how difficult um some of these big universities can be so it's like when you are there you have to like study extremely hard because the courses can also be so so some some lecturers can be so difficult some courses can be extremely difficult and so like i know um in the polytechnic that i was before i know people who've taken even eight years some people just not even end up finishing the course some people just give up um in the process because some courses are just extremely so so hard to pass you can be doing an exam for over two years the same exam and you're not passing so <laughs> that is how um tough it can be in some of these big universities so another thing also is that there is really no sense of community in bigger universities that is because it's too big and everybody's just on their own so everybody's just like process of trying to pass their exams pass their courses so there's barely like a sense of community in bigger universities well as compared to smaller universities you find that since it's a smaller university you find that 
there is a community of like around students so that was what i found like in the bigger university everybody is just on their own since it's also a big city everybody is just on their own but then in the smaller university i found like students are more together um you could find that there when there is like an event the students will invite each other like there is that sense of community around the students which i really really loved and then another thing also is that you barely find like extracurricular activities in these big universities. That is because like they are too busy trying to finish the syllabus um, and there's barely any extra activity outside the the classes that you have to like find it yourself maybe outside the university but in the university um, there's barely like extra activities outside the um, the classes um that is something generally in italian universities i've seen but it really happens mainly in like um bigger universities because like the smaller university i was we had something like cultural day where like um people from different countries who like present um their cultures or something in their country who have like a cooking day where they present foods from different countries so even though it wasn't much but it was better it was something like outside the um, the school something outside the classes that you're used to so yeah that's another thing and then another thing also the competition for scholarships in these big cities is really really high you guys because you find that in big cities there are for example like three universities and these three universities are holding a capacity of like over 10,000 students and all these students most of them are relying on the scholarship so the competition is so so high when it comes to this scholarship and you stand most of the time a chance of you could win the scholarship but probably you'll be in a waiting list for example you win the scholarship and uh you're in the waiting list of getting accommodation so um everything just becomes um a little bit complex because you're in a bigger city and there is a bigger volume of students well as compared to a smaller university since it's just like one university obviously they are just dealing with students from this university and um the competition is not as that uh high as compared to a bigger university i hope you guys are getting this so yeah that's another thing the scholarship um competition is super super high but yeah that's not to say that when you're in big universities there are no it's pros i'll probably do part two of um the pros um pros and cons of big cities versus smaller cities and you guys can weigh your options so yeah guys i don't want to make this video too long i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to like to share and to subscribe bye guys